Sayyid Ali Khamenei as the current supreme leader of Iran, a position he has held since 1989. He is one of the most influential and powerful figures in the Middle East, and has played a major role in shaping Iranian politics and society since the Islamic Revolution in 1979, born on July 17, 1939. In Mashhad, Iran, Sayyid Ali Khamenei's life has been marked by a deep devotion to Islam, a commitment to revolutionary ideals, and a fierce determination to defend Iran's sovereignty and independence. Early life and education Sayyid Ali Khamenei was born into a religious family in Mashhad, Iran. His father was a cleric, and Sayyid Ali grew up in a devout household. From a young age, he was drawn to the teachings of Islam and studied the Quran and Islamic jurisprudence with his father and other religious scholars. As a teenager, Sayyid Ali became involved in political activism, joining the Islamic Association of Students, a group that was critical of the Shah's regime and advocated for Islamic reform. In 1962, he was arrested for his political activities and spent six months in prison. After his release, Sayyid Ali continued his studies, eventually becoming a leading figure in the Islamic Seminary of Qam, one of the most important centers of religious learning in Iran. He became known for his expertise in Islamic jurisprudence and for his opposition to the Shah's regime, political activism and imprisonment Sayyid Ali Khamenei's political activism brought him into conflict with the Shah's regime, and he was arrested several times in the 1970s. He became a close ally of Ayatollah Ruhollah Khomeini, the spiritual leader of the Islamic Revolution, and played a key role in organizing protests against the Shah's rule. In 1979, the Islamic Revolution succeeded in overthrowing the Shah's regime, and Khomeini returned to Iran from exile in France. Sayyid Ali Khamenei was appointed to a number of key positions in the new government, including Minister of Defense and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, in 1981. Sayyid Ali survived an assassination attempt that left him paralyzed from the right arm down. The attack was carried out by a group of terrorists who were opposed to the Islamic Republic, and it is believed to have been ordered by foreign powers. Supreme leader of Iran in 1989, Ayatollah. Khomeini died, and Sayyid Ali Khamenei was appointed as his successor as Supreme Leader of Iran. As Supreme Leader, he has played a major role in shaping Iranian politics and society, and has been a staunch defender of Iran's sovereignty and independence. Under Sayyid Ali's leadership, Iran has pursued a policy of resistance against what it sees as Western imperialism and aggression. He has been a vocal critic of the United States and Israel, and has been an advocate for Iran's nuclear program. Sayyid Ali has also been deeply involved in Iranian domestic politics, and has played a key role in shaping the country's economic and social policies. He has been a supporter of the Islamic Republic's revolutionary ideals, and has been critical of those who he sees as promoting secularism and liberalization. Legacy Sayyid Ali Khamenei's legacy is a complex one. He is revered by many Iranians for his leadership and his commitment to Islamic values, but he has also been criticized for his authoritarian tendencies and his resistance to reform. Under his leadership, Iran has faced significant challenges, including economic sanctions, political unrest, and international isolation. But Sayyid Ali has remained a popular and influential figure, and his leadership has